hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i am doing a mrs gonk nail so this is mr gonk that i did the other day so i thought i would do him his other half and make this into a full set of acrylics for you so i'm going in and i'm going to do this pinky or start this pinky first and i'm going in with hot paprika and i am going to make this into like a candy cane so I've just applied that near that cuticle and then I'm just using my brush to get that into the stripes. So once I've done that, I'll move on to somewhere else where that bit sets up a bit. So I am going in on the ring finger where the Mrs. Gonk is going to be. I am going in with Moon Glow. So I just did half a nail of that one and then I'm going back to the candy cane with Snow White and doing a stripe in that. So again, I'm just following the shape that I did on the previous one. So just scoping that out a little bit and following the previous line. So I'm just going over the top with a bit more Snow White on that one because I just took a bit too much off and there were a little dip there. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to move on to the ring finger again. And I have decided to do Mrs. Gonk in Hot Paprika. So the bottom half of this nail, I'm just going to go in now and cover that full it in that colour so that is the base for Mrs Gonk and then I will move back to the candy cane now so I'm going in there now with Moon Glow so with this set, if you're doing a full set, it's easy because you can do a bit of this nail, go on to another nail, go back. Especially when the light cut outs like this, you just go back and forth, back and forth. And you're not waiting as much as when you're doing one nail to show you're on camera. So it's, it's just showing you how I incorporate all the nails together. So while I'm waiting for them to set up a bit, I'm going to go on to the pointer finger and I'm just going straight in for a full nail of hot paprika with this one. I do add some a little bit later on, but for now that is all I am doing on this one. Then I'm going to jump back to that candy cane nail and go back in with hot paprika and do another stripe. And then we're going to start work on, I think now I'm just going to go in and finish this candy cane. I, th I think that's what I do actually. So I'm just going in there with Snow White and doing that last stripe in that colour. So I did bleed the back of that bead off so that were a lot more solid than normal just so that I could put this colour up straight away without having to wait. So I've gone back in with that last little bead of Moon Glow. So that is that nail done. The index is nearly done. So I can move on to the Mrs Gonk nail and finish this one off now. So I have zoomed in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going in with Snow White and I'm starting off with a plaits. So I've just put that bead on and I'm just dragging that down so it's one long thin line. So 
So once I've got it to the length that I want, I mean, this could also be his daughter. It could be a little girl gonk, do you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be his wife. You could make it his daughter. So I'm just going to take a cuticle pusher that's got straight edge on it now and just go down one side for this part just to do the markings and then go down the other side and that leaves the imprint of a plait. So that looks pretty cool. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the opposite side. So I didn't put enough white on there, so I'm just going to add a little bead there. Just pat that all into place and then go in with that cuticle pusher again, come down one side and then come down the opposite side. So for Mrs. Gonks, I'm just going in with hot paprika and I'm just going to do two, two pit tears on this one. So I've gone back to my big brush. Um, so I'm just making sure there's that ledge like I did on the previous gonk I did. So I'm just flattening that out at the back. Just add a bit more on that corner. And then just make sure that there's that ledge. And then go in with that second bead. So I'm just going to do her at a slightly different shape. It don't really matter, but I just thought do her as more of a rounder one because it is a girl. And I don't think that makes any difference. But I just wanted it to be slightly different to the opposite to the um man one. So I'm just doing a lip on that and flat not flattening the back out as much just pushing that up so that she's got a little peak on that just make sure that that is defined on the lip part so you can tell that it's got two tears to that and then i am going to go in with I don't know which part I'm doing next. Oh, I'm doing the ends of a plait. So I'm just going in with a small bead on the end. And I'm just doing like a leaf shape to where the bobble part would be round a plait. That makes sense. So I'm just going to do one of them on either side. That just finishes them plaits off quite nice. And then I am going to do a pom-pom on top of her hat. So I'm going to make sure that's a nice big pom-pom. And then I'm going to use a pink for her nose. And I cannot remember what colour pink it was. It's one of the new ones. Pink rose, something like that. I'll have to have a look at that. Frosted rose, that's it. It's frosted rose what I'm using for her nose. So I've done quite a big nose for her as well. So that is Mrs. Gonk done. So I'm just going to put him to the side, see how they match up. So I was just debating what to do with this point the finger so i decided to go in and just do some white pom-poms on here so i'm just going to do a few going down the center of this nail so 
they're easy enough just put your bead on and just flatten that out a bit So once I've done that, I am just going to quickly cap these. So obviously there's on it the pink it and the point of finger to cap. So I'm just applying that bead near that cuticle and then pulling that down that entire nail. do exactly the same on the pointer finger so once I've done the capping I will go in and just file the pinky and the pointer finger and I will be right back okay so now on to top coat so I am just going to top coat the pinky and round the Mrs Gonk so this time I am using a little detailing brush to get that into them little crevices. And then I'm going to do the pointer finger and then I will pop them into the lamp for a full minute. So when they come out, this is what they look like, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.